Well, hello people again. I've come back on to tell you guys about a fraud that's going on. Um, you know that um, thing about being a, a um, what is it, a ghost shopper? Anyway, um, I signed up to become one. I thought, well, that'd be kind of fun, you know. They talk about, you know, restaurants and things and 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 everything. So they accepted me. Well, let me show you a check that I got. Can you see it? Okay. Okay. Hope you can see it good enough. In other words, it says it's a cashier's check and it's for $1,740. Well, I got a hold of the bank. They ran a check on it. It's invalid. No good. Zip. No good. Uh, here's a letter that I got with it, you know, telling me what to do with it. It is a scam, people, in the worst way. In fact, I think it may have something to do about laundering money overseas. Because, see, what they want you to do... Um, they want you to take, they want me to take this to an ATM and get it cashed. And then they want me to take it to a, a MoneyGram store at a Walmart and send it to a second person, which the second person's name I hope you can see it. Anyway, it's uh, the first name is R O C H E R L, last name Allen, and the address is supposed to be Ashford Park Drive, Sugarland, Texas, zip 77478. And I'm supposed to send this person $1,420. Well, then they sent me another one for $1,980 in a different envelope. See? See the name? United Bank. See the amount of the money on it right there. From the same, from the same company, it was supposed to be two assignments I have had. <clears throat> and it's the same thing, but then they've got another person they're wanting me to send. Uh, see, how much money did they want me to send this other person? Uh, see, I'm putting, uh, they want me to cash it at ATM. They want me to go down to a Western Union transfer station. Uh, see, and then they want me to send this person. Um, hmm. I'm going to read it all so I can get it. To, um, okay, where did they say they want me to send exactly? Okay. I'm supposed to keep a 200 for myself and 150 for the West, uh, Western Union charge. So let me see. If I can figure out how much I'll be sending this other person. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, I'm going to take, gonna take uh, $350 out of $1,000. So $350 away from $9,800. See? That would be, and where is the heck is a pencil? Huh? It would help if I have a pencil right at hand. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. So I've got to check for $1,980. And then I can take away $350 from that. So they want me to send this girl Shuri D U G A N in Bloomdale, Indiana. Her zip code is 47832. So <clears throat> this is how it works. Someone pulled a stuff like this on me before, which I'm going to turn these over to the FBI. See, this is how they laundry money. See, they get me to put this through my bank account, which it wouldn't go through anyway because they're both no good. No good, no good. So people, watch out about that uh, shopper, you know, where you can get a job at shopping and you get paid for it. Sounds good, but it ain't good. See, what they do, they send me the check. Okay? I cash the check. I have the money. I send money to this second party who is part of their organization, and then they can send it on overseas to what? Al-Qaeda. ISIS. Any of them people over there laundering the money through. See, I've been through this once before. They don't know this. So I decided to see what this was all about. And I found out it's another scam and another way of laundering money to get to our enemies. People don't believe this uh, shopper thing, you know. Uh, it, it's just, it's... It, they're jerking your chain and they're wanting you to become part of laundering the money for them which is illegal you can go to prison for this you understand what I'm saying these people are trying to get you involved into something that is totally 100% illegal And I'm, I'm Father, I'm going to be turning this over to the FBI. But I'm telling you, you people, I know we're in desperate times sometimes. And we're looking to make extra money online. They call them shadow shoppers, you know. They're, you're supposed to be investigating something or another. And you get paid $200 for it. And they send you the money to spend or to do with... And it all turns out to be a laundering process of laundering money to go overseas to, to people we don't want money to go to. So, I, I'm putting this out right now to warn you people. Don't get involved in this thing. Please, please, it can end you, end you up in prison for, um, for embedding the enemy. And more than likely, that person on the other end is really, you know, part of the whole thing. They said a secret shopper, you know, the other person is. Well, of course they're going to say that. You know, they want you to think that they are just like you and they're part of the chain of, of investigating how slow the EMTs run, how slow the Western Union run. They, they, they'll make you think that you're doing a good service, but you're not. They're trying to get you to laundry the money to them. They don't want their money because it's dirty money. So they want your money, they want to send you something, and, and, and the, the check is no good, period. So what you will do, if you're, if you're not careful, you'll go down and put it in your bank account, 
it will bounce and if you take the, your, that money out to send the other person right away like they want you to do see they want it Im immediately they they wanted me to do it right now today but i don't i investigate and by investigating i found out it's another spam scam but see they want you to go you could do it right now today you get the money and you go down and war to this other person right now right now right now right now see that way you you draw out money that it will not be in your checking account because the check is no good that's going to put you in a hole for thousands of dollars and you can't afford that i know you can't i know i can't and then they will send it to this other person who passes it on and laundries it and by the time it gets overseas the money is not traceable but if you get caught doing that you can go to prison for it it's illegal it's against the law they're bringing you into a scam that is totally 100 percent illegal and you don't want the federal government ever showing up on your doorstep and arresting you for something that you thought you were doing legitimately and it's not it's not people I'm sorry to bless people space that's wanting to get into this but it's not it's not legal um, at all at all I, I'm just I just felt really led to warn you all about this don't get into this program of being a secret shopper thinking you're going to make two hundred dollars every time you do your assignment what you're doing you'll be digging yourself a hole in a hole that will get you arrested and put in prison I, I just want you to be blessed and I'll, be, I'll do further investigation on this. I mean, what can I say? Oh, it looked good. And I thought if it was legitimate, I could even help Tina out more. Tina still needs money. All she has got $25. And it's going to cost, I've already called, $200 to put propane in that propane tank. And I thought, wow, you know, this is really sounds good, but still I felt uneasy. I had this gut feeling that I was going, no, this, this isn't right. This isn't real. This is another scam, Barbara. And, you know, I thought I could get her propane for her, and, and, and the next assignment I could pay on her rent, you know, and keep them off of her back doesn't work it didn't work out for me it's it's a scam so don't do it so but I'm still going to ask you people that if you can break up some money to send to my PayPal account so that uh, we can get Tina some propane get that tank filled up and if you happen to send me some more money to pay on the rent that'll be a blessing too so just just stay away from those scams if you get a check through the mail investigate it really it's not hard to do i mean the check's got the name of the bank on there and and i got a hold of their number with a little effort of searching the internet and um Call and I talked to a person, and she flat said it's an invalid check, no good. So, just be blessed, people. Be be safe and be leery at what you receive in the mail when it's checked. When it looks too when it looks too good to be true, it usually is way too good to be true. So be careful out there, okay, people. Bless you in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach. Amen. Yeah.